Welcome to our channel dedicated to providing information about anesthesiology and intensive care. Today, we will be discussing blood product transfusions in anesthesia and the indications for transfusion, as well as the potential complications that can arise. Blood transfusions are an essential component of anesthesia care in surgical patients. The goal is to maintain adequate blood volume and oxygen carrying capacity, while minimizing the risk of transfusion-related complications. The most commonly transfused blood products include packed red blood cells, platelets, fresh frozen plasma, and cryoprecipitate. The decision to transfuse blood products is based on several factors, including the patient's hemoglobin level, coagulation profile, and clinical status. Transfusion thresholds vary based on the patient's individual needs and the type of surgery. Packed red blood cells are typically transfused when the hemoglobin level falls below a certain threshold, which varies depending on the patient's age, medical history, and surgical procedure. Platelet transfusions are indicated for patients with low platelet counts, typically below 50,000, microliter. This is commonly seen in patients with liver disease, sepsis, or undergoing major surgery. Fresh frozen plasma is indicated for patients with coagulopathies or abnormal bleeding, such as those with liver disease, massive transfusion, or undergoing cardiothoracic surgery. Cryoprecipitate is indicated for patients with low fibrinogen levels, such as those with liver disease or undergoing major surgery. Transfusion-related complications can include allergic reactions, transfusion-related acute lung injury, transfusion-associated circulatory overload, and transfusion-transmitted infections. These risks are minimized by careful patient selection, appropriate blood product selection, and close monitoring during transfusion. We hope that this video has helped you understand the indications for blood product transfusions in anesthesia, as well as the potential complications that can arise. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below, and we'll do our best to answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content about anesthesiology and intensive care. Thanks for watching.